brand new tank engine. No way. He didn't want to be late on his first day, you see, cause... Fuck it, who wants to be late on the first day at school? I sure wasn't. Well, I sort of was when I was at college, but... Fuck it, you all know the drill. He didn't want to be fucking late. Ah, right on time. Thompson, Emma, this is Matthew, the Pannier tank engine. I bought him from the Great Western Railway. He will make a perfect addition to the railway, and I'm also going to help around to shunt coaches and trucks as well. Hello there, nice to meet you, Thompson and Emma. Well, it's nice to meet you too, Matthew. But Emma had other things to think about Matthew. And what she didn't know, these would offended him. Sir, with all respect, but he has no cap. I never thought I'd say this, but I never trust capless engines. Why did you have to be so rude? What are your feelings to you? Hmm. Right. Emma, a word with you later. Right, Matthew, I want you to go and deliver some coal trucks, and then after that, go and shunt coaches in the yard. Thompson will follow soon after to show you how. No problem, sir. I'm on it. Later, Thompson went to see the controller. The controller had a surprise for him. Ah, oh, hello, Thompson. Look at the surprise next to you. Whoa, hello, little Thompson. <laughs> hello, Thompson. Ah, oh, it's good to see you two again. We have two new engines. Mm, yes, we saw the pannier earlier. He was very nice. Great Western, is he? And also that Fowler. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> Eventually, Matthew was doing very good with passenger work and freight trains, but Emma still had her doubts, as she didn't know that Matthew would have helped her later on in life. Meanwhile, Graham walked into Jake, who suddenly derailed with the very long passenger train. He went out of control and crashed into a siding. Hmm, what happened here, Jake? said Graham. Oh, I was just sitting here, masturbating to Milo. Oh, what do you think I did, you fucking piece of shit? I derailed. Are you gonna apologize for what you said to me and Herbert? Before, when we were at the works, Thompson told me that you said we both were gay for each other. What? No, no, no. He has witnesses. Peter. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hmm, that's settled then. Right. Me and Herbert will continue taking your passenger train and bring you back on the rails. Later that evening, the engines all made up their quarrel. Jake spoke first. Hmm, thank you, Graham and Herbert, for helping me out of that situation. No problem. If you want anything from us, just ask. <laughs> I know, let's be friends. Yes, let's be friends. Friends for life. Let that free some, Herbert. If you become very retarded later on in this series, then we'll get criticized. And that's a no-no for Zemark Anthony. The next day, the controller came to see Emma. Emma, I have a job for you. I want you to take a goods train from the harbor to the wharf, and you might need another engine to help you. And then, he left to sign some papers in his office. Well, Emma, looks like you will need help with that goods train. Hmm. Like I would want to help from an engine with no cap. Then, Emma was off to the harbour. And after that, she made her way to the shunting yards with the train. And something fortunate had happened. Suddenly, they stopped. Oh dear, oh, said the driver. I think we're out, we're out of coal. The driver looked at the fireman. 
Don't look at me, I just forgot to fill it this morning. We're in such a rush. Mm. This will destroy the railway's reputation now. We'll be in for it for sure and not get our paychecks. And then something more has happened, and it was really to top off the cake of the situation. Ferret, the old engine, was trying to get onto the track on the line next to Emma. But Emma was blocking the way. And she couldn't move because she ran out of coal. Hey! What's the idea of blocking the tracks? And then, suddenly, they heard a low, deep whistle. It was Graham with the express. He couldn't get past because Emma was also in the way. Then, they realised they were in such a tricky situation. Then, who would come by in the rescue but Matthew the Pannier? Oh, hello, Emma. I heard you had a little accident, so I brought some coal to get you started. And after that, Graham has dropped the passengers off at the station, and then Matthew pushed the train that Emma was pulling all the way to the shopping mall. 